I think in the videos that I make, there's always a strong sense of choreography in much more abstracted way. Uh, and because I don't use language, I'm very interested in body movements as a way of telling the stories. So it's, uh, it's not so uh, hard to imagine why, for example, Christoph thought about collaborating with someone like me because there is this existing idea of choreography, but in, again, in, in a very different way, in more kind of aesthetic and compositional way. The first part of this project was the dramaturgy of the, uh, the story and the way that Willem had taken the existing play of Shakespeare, Tempest, and had suggested to re-adapt it for a ballet. So we spent endless hours in London, in Italy, in Holland, discussing, um, first of all, the symbolic value of the story of Tempest, how we each related to the meanings of those symbolisms, how we interpreted according to our own cultural background, our own sort of artistic backgrounds. And we all came to some natural decisions. Of course, the main job of scripting the, the story was by Willem. Um, but for example, Shoja was very passionately involved with the dramatic development of the story and how that might translate in the film. And I just kept imagining images, you know. The Tempest is a very peculiar work of Shakespeare in a sense that it looks at a moment in the history and pictures a moment in history which is tied to the colonial expansion on the one hand and the discovery of America on the other hand. And you really cannot tell whether Shakespeare himself was racist or, you know, or he's hiding behind Prospero, or it's, you know, from his point of view, we see the, uh, the, the, these creatures called Caliban that are uncivilized and all of that, and this man comes and brings civilization and all that, you know. Uh, so it is, it, in a sense, you know, the political side of it is we coming from, you know, a, a different land, non-Western land, and reinterpreting Shakespeare in a sense with the help of, with the understanding of uh, Christoph and Wilhelm and everyone else uh, in a new light which is like today's uh, reality and putting it in a historical context. Our biggest issue was um, how to make a, a film that uh, doesn't um, cancel out what's happening on the stage. Uh, and it sort of enhances it as opposed to cancelling it out. Seeing the choreography was very essential because we had already started the process of editing and uh, so we took a tape of the dance and his choreography, took it with us to the editing room, put it under the images and then we, we started to really, really see the relationship very, very uh, vividly. And uh, that changed everything, really. The original vision that we had was basically more interaction between uh, kind of video installation, multiple screens, and the stage. And uh, you know, when we really, for, for the first time, we, uh, we went to the theater and they had the screens actually built and everything. And we started to look at the, uh, the, the, the project, look at the totality of the, what was happening. And we realized that uh, the approach of video installation uh, with the piece, with the choreography, didn't work at all. So uh, then I had a conversation with Shirin, and we talked about it, we discussed it, and we both came to the agreement that it is perhaps much more simple and accurate if we abandon the idea of, uh, of video installation and approach, uh, approach the piece from a cinematic point of view. And this relationship between cinema and dance was really, I mean, it came together very, very organically and nicely and, and surprised us very, very nicely. say this collaboration with Tempest is as a new beginning for me. We have done two other projects that have been live performance but it was a very different context. I think that you know for an artist uh, to be given this challenge 
um, is, a, is a tremendous breakthrough. Of course, it's never perfect. We don't understand a classic ballet in any ways. We, we don't have a history of you know, what other work has been done by other people on stage and with video. Uh, it's a very virgin uh, kind of um, uh, collaboration in a sense that we come to it, um, I think with Shoja and I, uh, reacting artistically really on an intuitive basis. And we did spend a lot of time talking about this project, developing it, thinking about it, analyzing it, questioning it. We had very short time producing it, but the planning was forever. So I felt like we came as prepared as we could. We had all open eyes and ears to other people who had the experience, who had been working for years and years in dance, in opera, in dramaturgy, on lighting, on stage work. And yet we tried to not compromise our own signature, I think, as people, as stylistically and narratively. And I feel that although the work is not perfect, it really is a very interesting union between all of us in a way that we didn't compromise.